back to my channel. It is Karina from Paradium Thrift. If you are new here, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And if you guys have been following along on my channel for the past month, you guys know I attempted to do Vlogmas. And then I decided to switch it up and try Thriftmas. So I tried to do 12 days of Thriftmas. And then I think about a halfway, I decided I didn't want to do it anymore. So I kind of gave up on that. But today is going to be the last video of my whole Thriftmas slash vlogmas attempt so i hope you guys enjoy it is going to be my last thrift haul of 2021 honestly it's not anything super crazy i didn't find any like amazing brands or amazing pieces most of it's just bread and butter but i feel like that's okay but i thought i'd do something a little bit fun with today's video and have a giveaway kind of just celebrate the whole year of me coming back to youtube and of this whole thriftmas fiasco that I tried to do. I'm so appreciative of every single one of you guys for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos, and just for being so supportive and genuinely like interested in the content that I share with you guys. So this is a way for me to say thank you for you guys. Um, make sure you watch the whole video and then when you are done, comment down below how much you think I spent on everything in this video. The person who gets it the closest or whoever gets it spot on first will win a $50 gift card. You can either choose if you want it to Starbucks, to Amazon, or just a $50 payment sent to you through PayPal. But this is my way of saying thank you and just I really, 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 really do appreciate you guys. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. It has been so much fun doing all of these videos for you guys this year and I cannot wait to see what next year has in store for my channel, for our community, and just for reselling in general. So anyway, let's get into it. I went to two thrift stores. I went to St. Vinny's and I went into Goodwill. Um, and I only found two things at St. Vinny's, so I think I'm going to start there with you guys. The first item that I got is a dress. This is a brand that I don't typically pick up because usually when I find it, it's like an older style. The resale value of this brand has also gone down quite a bit, but I really like this dress and I wanted to give it a try. But the brand here is Bailey44. I believe this is the newer tag. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I know that there's like a ribbony looking one that's like really old. But I think this white tag is more recent. But anyway, it is this black mini dress with like a faux leather trim on the bottom and it also has this woven detail on the sleeves i just looked at the care tag and it's actually faux leather i thought it was real leather because it's honestly like buttery soft but i still think this will do well i think it's a really really cute piece whether it's for like date night or something um but yeah i thought this was a really cool piece so i'm hoping this does better i haven't looked up comps or anything my phone was acting really weird in the store so i couldn't really look up comps um, so that's kind of a bummer, <laughs> but I'm hoping that everything I picked up does well. The next and last piece that I got from St. Vinny's is this coat. It is this blush pink pea coat. It is by the brand ASOS Design, another brand that I don't typically pick up just because the resale value isn't really there, but this is a plus size coat. It's also this beautiful blush pink color. I mentioned in my fall winter trends video that this color was going to be a big hit. This season so I wanted to try this out plus like I said it's a size 14 which is great I don't find that many good plus size pieces so whenever I do I try to pick them up um, but yeah I love this piece I'm not gonna be able to show it to you that well just because I'm sitting on Ryan's bed right now but I think this is really really pretty and I'm I think this will do well as well moving on to Goodwill again I didn't find like too many crazy pieces but I still think that the things that I found were pretty cool I think but anyway the first thing that I found I picked up mainly on style I have no idea why I keep picking these pieces up and just like not listing them or anything but I think it's finally time I've collected enough of these freaking sweater vests to list them but I found this one and I thought this was really cool it's like this patterned cropped v-neck sweater vest um this is a size large but I feel like this could fit any size for women's and I found this in the men's section too but 
I thought this was really cute. I can totally, totally picture somebody wearing this with just like some high-rise jeans and like a long sleeve turtleneck underneath. I think that would be so cute. I think this is wool. Yeah, this is 30% wool or 90% wool, 10% cotton. So this actually might have shrunk or something because it's kind of short. But I really like this and I think... If I style it, maybe this will sell pretty well. I haven't decided yet where I'm going to sell all these sweater vests that I've been picking up, but I have a pretty good collection of them now. The next item that I picked up, I found this like last minute. It's by the brand Frame, and I love selling their denim. Their other pieces don't always do as well as their denim, but I thought this was a cool piece, and it wasn't marked up that bad, so I didn't mind trying it out. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see, but it has these ruffle sleeves. It is a knit material it's just a short sleeve shirt and it's a size small let me see if I can look up the okay this is 100% wool as well so I think this will do well there was no flaws on it or anything um, but yeah I thought this would be a fun little piece to add into my Poshmark closet the next piece is very, very, very out of season. I mainly picked this up because it was new with tags. I did pay up for this piece, so keep that in mind when you are guesstimating my total spent. Um, but I did spend, pay up for this just because it was new with tags. Um, honestly, no other reason. The brand is Gymshark, as you can see here on the tag. And it is this black swimsuit. It has a cutout detail on the back. And it has a zipper um, front, so the zip goes all the way down. This is called the Horizon Sport Swimsuit. It's a size extra small. But I feel like this is a really good quality piece. And I've never sold any Gymshark swimwear before, so I wanted to try that out. Next piece I was kind of unsure of. I do like selling this brand, but I wasn't sure if this style was going to do that well. And I'm still kind of iffy about it, but I still picked it up anyway. The brand, as you can see here, is Black Halo. And this piece is kind of like a watercolor floral dress and the back is navy blue but I thought this was cute like I said I like selling this brand some of the more plain pieces and um, some of the more like recent pieces can sell pretty well like over $100 I don't think this one will be going for that much but I still wanted to try it out um, and this is a size 6 but this might be cute for the springtime. I mean, I know it's still winter, but it's good to start stocking up for the season ahead just because things are a little bit cheaper now than they will be when it is actually the season for those items. So keep that in mind when you guys are sourcing. Let's see, this next piece, I don't think I've ever sold a dress from this brand before. I've mainly sold pants and some tops. The brand is Betta Brand. It's such a tiny little tag right there. But this is what it looks like it has like these pockets on the side it is long sleeve i realize now that the um tags on my goodwill clothes have like the price on them and i will say i didn't pay that price for all of them so don't just like try to add them up and and guess what it is but yeah i will just say some of the pieces were half off so just keep that in mind. Also, there was no pricing on the St. Vinny stuff, so you won't know how much I paid for those, but Anyway, I digress. Beta Brand is a kind of like a workwear brand, and I believe they're an eco-friendly brand. I could be wrong on that. Their stuff has a really good following on it, so if you've never heard of this brand and you find it, check comps for it first, but um, typically their stuff does pretty well. It sells pretty quick. Um, and yeah, this is just a like casual long sleeve black dress. Next piece is one of my bread and butter brands, favorite brands to pick up, and I've been thinking a lot about it, and I may or may not stop picking this brand up, just because it was doing really well for me. I don't know if it's just because it's like winter time, and most of the stuff I find are like dresses, so they're not selling as well, but um, there are some pieces that I've had in my closet from this brand for a while now, so I just don't know if it's like worth it anymore to pick it up. Of course, style and price matter, but we'll see how how high on my list this will be next year but the brand here is lulu's this is a floral off the shoulder jumpsuit actually or no it's a midi oh i thought this was a jumpsuit it is not a jumpsuit it is a midi dress um still cute this is a size large i do like picking up like midi dresses maxi dresses and jumpsuits from this brand so 
I don't know. I'm hoping that this still does well, but I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be gravitating towards this brand just because it's resale not necessarily value but like the speed in which it sells has definitely gone down quite a bit the next piece that i found this is my first time picking up this brand but i have seen it quite a lot at my goodwill and i just never picked it up um i picked it up today because it was a good price this is the tag it is birdie gray and it is kind of like a I would say it's kind of similar to like Show Me or Mumu where they do a lot of like bridal or like prom dresses and I think this is like a bridesmaid dress. It is called the, it's on here somewhere, the Jane dress in silver and it's a size small. It honestly reminds me so much of Show Me or Mumu. It has like this ruffle style. If you're familiar with Show Me or Mumu dresses, this is kind of like the Caitlyn style. So it's got that ruffle, um neckline and it's just a maxi chiffon dress there were a few other pieces from this brand but they were marked a little bit higher so i wanted to pick this one up first to see how it did and then maybe if they do well then i'll go back and get the others if they're still there um but we'll see and i have one last piece for you guys this is another brand that i really like to sell it is Everlane. I don't think I've ever sold this style before. They have like an elastic band. They're just like an off-white straight leg pant with this cuff on the bottom. And these are a size 6. So I have to look up the style name and all of that on here. But Everlane is a great brand to sell. And that wraps up my last thrift haul of the year. Again, it's not super exciting. I didn't find anything crazy. But... I just wanted to share it with you guys since it's kind of a special moment. I'm not going to be thrifting for at least a week, I don't think. We have family coming in town to celebrate the holidays. We're going to be doing a little bit of inner interstate travel, like traveling within our state, if that makes sense. Um, but I am really looking forward to the new year. I have a few more videos coming out before the year is over, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys want to participate in the giveaway, make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and then down below you can leave your guess at how much you think I spent on this haul. Um, I'm probably going to be sharing this over on Instagram as well, so definitely give me a follow over there, same username at Perdium Thrifts. I will be announcing the winner for the giveaway on December 31st, probably here in my community tab, and I'll also be sharing it over on Instagram, so make sure you are following me over there. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I am so excited to see which one of you guys wins. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!